All righty. Testing, testing. Good morning, everyone. If you can hear me, please let me know in the live chat if the audio needs to be turned up or if the video is not there, please let me know so this can be a smooth live stream. But thank you so much for joining today and for being a part of this live stream. It's fun to get together as a community and to be able to discuss print on demand and selling on the Etsy marketplace. Um, so I'm just grateful for you guys tuning in and being a part of this. I do invite you, if you're not in my Facebook group yet, Print On Demand Warriors, I highly suggest joining that Facebook group. It's a great place to be a part of a community with like-minded people who are doing the exact same thing as you, who help you in all aspects of business, even in some life advice. Um, also, if you're still in need of some mock-ups for fall, it's the last day or so to design for Halloween and for the fall. Um, I invite you to go and check out our mock-up shop. It's Malama Mocks. The link is in the description. We added a ton of new fall mock-ups that work for Halloween as well as for Thanksgiving. And stay tuned for some Christmas mock-ups we will be um, posting in the near uh, coming weeks. We have a lot of good Christmas stuff that we just did yesterday. Highly recommend checking out when we do post that. And I'll be sure to let you know in the Facebook group. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, channel yet, make sure you make sure you subscribe because I post new content every week, uh, once a week. So I go every Thursday or Friday usually, and I go live every other week. Um, and then lastly, feel free to support the channel either through my PayPal tip jar or through super chats um, or super stickers in this live stream. Um, and then lastly is I teach you everything that you need to know to get your shop up and running here uh, on the Etsy marketplace doing print on demand through Printful or Printify. And I have all of the content that you need to get your shop started. So I suggest watching all of that content um, and going back and watching it if you've already watched it because there may be things that you missed. But everything that I teach you on my channel is things that can help improve the quality of your shop and increase conversion and increase sales. Um, so highly recommend going and watching that. So I will be answering questions that you have. It looks like we have four people here so far. Um, and I'll answer the question the best that I can. If I'm not able to answer your question, um, you can ask it in the comment section down below after this live stream so I can answer it better or again in my Facebook group. But Mary, good to have you here. Uh, Jay's Phantom Nation, good to have you here. Relax, Zen Nature, good to have you here. Um, if you're here and you're tuned in right now, let me know where you're from. I'm curious to see where the community is from. Uh, so chime in, let me know where you're from, and we will get started. Uh, so the first question we have here is from Jay's Phantom Nation. Woke up to my second sale very early this morning, lol. Not Now I got an email that I had just shipped to. Is Printful moving faster than usual, or is this normal speed for them to process? Uh, depending on location, if you are shipping international, sometimes orders go out much quicker than uh, domestic orders in the U.S. Um, but right now, their shipping times or the processing times are actually longer. They say it's three to nine business days for fulfillment, and then your average three to five. But you can expect maybe a day or so longer during the holidays for shipping. Um, but that's a quick turnaround and awesome, awesome job on getting your second sale, Jay's Family Nation. That's super exciting. Uh, keep with it. Good things will continue to come. Um, but yeah, it, it just hit or miss. Sometimes it's interesting with that. Sometimes you'll have orders that ship out really quick. Sometimes you'll have orders that take forever. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how their process works or uh, why why that is, but usually it will ship out within three to five days on a solid day. So, But again, congrats on your sale. Okay, Mary, good to have you here, Mary. Uh, good morning, Brennan. Have you had any issues with syncing on Printful? I've had nine items unsync, and uh, and I'm trying to figure if it's something I'm doing. Um, also, when listing an item, will you ever click in Printful that it's for Christmas if it's not a holiday themed item? Okay, so for your question, first question, Mary, uh, sometimes Printful will glitch out when you push uh, several. Um, sizes or colors to Etsy for for whatever reason I've had issues where I'll have like one or two colors sync and then the other three colors won't sync and I don't know why that is but the easy fix for that is to um, go back and just add the variations as I teach in one of my videos um, editing variations for when it becomes unsynced um, and just making sure you plug in the correct a name to match it exactly to Printful, and then you can easily resync them. But I have had issues with that. I haven't found a fix or a workaround, unfortunately, and it's frustrating when it happens. Um, you can suggest, or I suggest reaching out to Printful support, see if they're able to uh, figure out maybe what's going on with you. But I have had that in the past, but the easy workaround, easy solution is just to go and add my variations afterwards, uh, the correct name, so it matches the exact name on Printful so that they can easily resync. 
Uh, and that's really the best that you can do, unfortunately. Um, but if I find out a solution in the future, I'll be sure to let you know, Mary. And same goes for you. If you find out a great solution, please let me know. All right. And then also when listing an item, will you ever click in Printful that it's for uh, Christmas if not if it's not a holiday themed item? Uh, depends on the item. If, if it's not holiday themed, I won't specify it to Christmas only. Um, but if it's a specific design for Christmas, did I, I must, did I say Halloween? I don't know if I said Halloween. But for Christmas, if it's not specific for, Chris, for Christmas, then I won't mark it as a Christmas item. Um, but yeah, for specific design items, mark it as Christmas to show up better in search results. Okay. Relax in nature. Good to have you here. London. That's cool. London. Good to have you here. Mary, you're from LA. Very cool. Elizabeth from Houston, Houston, Texas. Bridget, Springfield, Oregon. Very cool. People from all over. Okay. Jonathan, want to say hi and thank you. Your videos have been a huge help and I, I had made my second and third sale this week. Congratulations, Jonathan. So awesome. And really, it's just rinsing and repeating at this point, Jonathan. Um, just keep doing what you're doing. It seems like you found something that works. Just repeat it and sales will continue to come and always be learning, improving and implementing. And your store will slowly start to take off. And it's just a snowball effect from there. But awesome job. Thanks for sharing. Congrats on your sales. Henrietta, hey, best mentor ever. Good to have you here, Henrietta. Thank you so much for your support and being so supportive on the channel and in the group. Coffee Crazy. I've been, I NB only want to sell in the US. So I've been only wanting to sell in the US, but when my listings get integrated from Printful to Etsy, it includes international shipping. I changed shipping profiles in Etsy and left only US shipping. Uh, but it, let me see. But, oh, but Etsy said it can't be changed. It's on Printful side. How do I fix this? Interesting. Let me, let me reread this question, Coffee Crazy. So it must, it sounds like it's whatever shipping profiles you are selecting on your Etsy listing after it gets pushed from Printful. Make sure, go and double check your shipping profiles under settings on your Etsy shop manager dashboard and double check the profile that's linked to that specific listing. And if you don't have any international countries and you only want US on it, it should only apply to that when a customer places an order. If the option is only to uh, sell or to ship to US, that will be the only thing that shows up when a customer uh, types in their zip code or wherever they're from. Um, but I would double check your shipping profiles on Etsy. And remember, anytime you push a new listing from Printful and you do the final steps on the Etsy side of things before you publish that listing, you want to make sure you select the correct uh, shipping profile that, that has the correct locations that you want to ship to um, before publishing that. But I would double check that. Um, other than that, I, I don't see why you'd have issues and what would be causing that. Um, but go and double check your shipping profiles and then let me know in the comment section down below after this uh, live stream and maybe we can work through work through some things but i would double check that first how many tags should you use for gift for gift tags so for gift tags relax in nature i, I don't know if i'm <clears throat> i'm sure what you mean so if you're talking about like the <clears throat> categories in that I would use as many as you can to exactly describe what your product is and what it relates to just so that, so that the algorithm knows exactly what it is that you're selling. Um, so the more, the better, but also make sure that they're very pertinent to what you're selling, that they make sense and it's not distracting. Um, so that doesn't confuse the algorithm. Um, so the more, the better, as long as it's applicable. Um, but for just regular SEO tags, if that's what you're talking about, um, I highly suggest using all 13 tags. The more tags you have that are relevant and that are um, popular keywords and proven keywords, the more opportunities you have to be found. Um, and if you're talking about like keyword tags specific for gifts, so like gift for friend, a gift for mother or whatever, again, use a few of those um, that are applicable to your specific design. All right. Mary, yes, the syncing issue happens when there are two colors in the listing and I follow your videos for two, for two print color files. Thank you for your suggestion. So yeah, Mary, I it's frustrating. I don't know why that happens and it doesn't happen every single time for me, but from time to time, it does happen. 
Um, <clears throat> so I, I just got to work through it and do the syncing it on the back end on Etsy, unfortunately, until there's a better solution and Printful works through it. Um, but I'll let you know if I do find anything better. Tampa, Florida, Henrietta, good to have you here from Florida. Um, Etsy said it can't be changed. It's on Printful side. How do I fix this? Have you talked with Printful Coffee Crazy? Um, again, it should be just simply as your shipping profiles are off or they're not correctly built out. Um, double check the shipping profiles because if the, the shipping profile that you create on the Etsy end isn't going to be connected to the Printful end. I personally select my shipping profile every single every single time, depending on what I'm selling and where it's going to. Um, for example, like if it's a mug and I want to ship internationally for mugs, then I'll select my mug shipping profile specific for U.S. orders or for to ship domestically only. Um, so double check that. Um, otherwise, I, I'm not sure what it is. I apologize. I ask me in the comment section down below and hopefully I can figure out a better answer for you. But it's got to be something with your shipping profiles not being built out correctly. <clears throat> or maybe it's built out correctly, but you just selected the wrong one on your Etsy listing. So the, if you're not familiar where to find those, it'll be at the bottom of your listing when you're editing it. It'll be the last thing you select before publishing it. And then you edit your shipping profiles under your settings on your uh, Etsy shop manager dashboard. Congrats to the people who are getting sales. Yay, warriors. I 100% agree, Mary. So exciting. Okay. <clears throat> Los Angeles, good to have you here all the way from LA. Thanks for all of your tips. Any tips for finding evergreen niches? So my best tips for finding evergreen niches is to go and watch my six free ways to find t-shirt trends. I walk you through the process that I do to do my uh, niche research and my trend research. Um, and then that's applicable to evergreen item just as it is applicable to holiday designs. And then the other thing is just to go through the Etsy marketplace and search. You can even do general search from just like t-shirts or graphic tees on Etsy and look what's showing up on the first uh, few pages, seeing what's ranking well, what's selling well based on how many reviews a certain listing has, the feedback from it, um, and obviously sales. Another way is to go to Etsy shop manager dashboard or sorry, excuse me, to the Etsy marketplace, just like the regular search tab. And then you can click in the search bar, see what keywords are being searched currently. You can find evergreen niches that way. Also, you can go sort it by just t-shirts, go by most recent and get some ideas that way as well. Because things that are most recent are have either recently been added to Etsy or have recently sold and the listing has renewed. So those are a few ways, but go watch my six free ways to find t-shirt trends. And that will give you some great ideas on how to do your trend research to find evergreen niches. And then just think of things that you personally like to design in, maybe some hobbies that you have, some other popular hobbies, like in the medical field um, with sports or like specific sports, football shirts, uh, baseball shirts, camping shirts. Um, but right now I highly recommend designing for Christmas and for Thanksgiving, as we are coming into those holidays, and there's a lot of money to be made in those specific holidays. And the best way to make money in those holidays is not just to do a basic t-shirt for Christmas, but to try and combine with outside ho like outside interests, outside hobbies, outside of um, Christmas. So same example, take um, coffee lovers and Christmas trees, or uh, baseball lovers and Christmas trees, since it's baseball season. But yeah, evergreen niches. Um, just do your due diligence on Etsy, go straight to the source. They have the best, um, obviously that's the best place to find what's trending and doing well exactly on Etsy, the place that you're selling. Other places you can go is on Amazon, um, search on Amazon, see what's selling there for t-shirts on eBay is another place to check and see what's selling Redbubble, other POD sites that are doing uh, print on demand is a great place to see what's selling for Evergreen. <clears throat> All right, if you're finding value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will continue to answer questions for the next 15 minutes um, and I will be helping you the best that I can. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe so that you can be aware of when or be in tune when I do post new content and when I go live, as well as if you're not in the Facebook group, Print On Demand Warriors, the link is in the description. Make sure you go and join the group there. <clears throat> 
Hey, Brennan, it's me, Jonathan, again. If you remember me, LOL, in regards to that second sale I made today, I noticed I have an unusually huge spike in traffic today for some reason. Just curious why. Jay's Phantom Nation, I wouldn't ask why. I'd just be grateful for the traffic. Um, but you can go and look at your stats on your shop, see what keywords you're being found for. Um, I don't know if you're doing any social media type marketing or running any type of ads, um, but that could be another another thing or another um another thing is maybe your first sale that you had you had word of mouth uh, word of mouth traffic so that first sale if they received their item they shared with their friends and family how much they love your item or your product and then your friends went and checked out your shop for that reason but um, those are a few possibilities but go check your stats use your data on the etsy marketplace it's so useful to be able to figure out what keywords you're ranking for not only for previous listings, but to see what keywords you can use again in future listings. But use the data that Etsy provides. But congrats, Jay's Phantom Nation. Super exciting. And I'm, I'm just excited for you because it's just the beginning of a really great run for you for making sales on Etsy. <clears throat> and that, it's just crazy to me. I know a lot of you have experienced this already. Um, that first sale you get is the coolest feeling after you've put in so much work and then you just realize that someone across the country or in another country found your item on this marketplace. They liked it enough to purchase it, to trust your store to purchase it. And right there, you get that first sale, money's moved, you have an operating business. So it's such a cool feeling. And really the first one is the hardest one to get. Once you have one and you start to get positive feedback, it just slowly grows and it really is just a snowball effect. But Awesome job, Jay's Fandom Nation. <clears throat> All right. Okay, Coffee Crazy, thanks for letting me know and keep me posted in the future on what happens there. Thank you for organizing the challenge. It's helped me so much. No problem. Yeah, I'd love to hear more feedback from everyone on the challenge. If you're not familiar with the challenge in our Facebook group, we have a challenge um, that was init initiated by Mary, who's here today. She suggested it. And then obviously everyone else in the community in the group was supportive of it and they liked it. So we ran with it and we did it. Um, and we do plan to um, do more challenges in the coming future. Um, sorry, I've been somewhat quiet in the Facebook group just because I've been so busy with everything else. Um, but I do plan to get in there, um, hopefully today and then starting next week to get caught up. But, um, yeah, we have challenges, listing challenges right now. It's not too late to jump in. You can even jump in now and just start with week one challenge if it's overwhelming to do, um, the current week that we're on. But I highly recommend being involved in these challenges because it's a way to, uh, set expectations for yourself to set goals and to really stretch yourself and push yourself to the next level. Cause it's easy to become very complacent and just kind of slowly ride through. If you're getting some sales, uh, your listing, it's very easy to be complacent, but you always need to be pushing yourself to, in order to uh, grow your shop and to improve your skill set and to, um, yeah, just to become better. But with that listing challenge, it's not only a listing count challenge. I'm also adding bonus challenges. So things that are applicable to your, or like to your shop uh, specifically. So like doing shop updates, um, changing, uh, doing like shop announcements, whatever it is, editing your listings, just little things that help make a difference in your shop is what the idea is behind this challenge to really help you take your shop to the next level and to increase sales so that you can start making more money so that you can start living the uh, living and creating the lifestyle that you want. But thank you, Lori, for that feedback. I'm glad it's helped and you've enjoyed it. <clears throat> Hi, Brennan. I've changed my shipping fees to free shipping in the US and I charge a shipping fee everywhere else, but every time it changes back to free shipping everywhere. So again, POD designs, this might be similar to Coffee Crazy's example. Uh, are, you, are you selecting your shipping profiles every time you push a new listing or are you just going with the autom automatic one that gets pushed from Printful when submitting your listing? Um, I would double check that. Make sure that you're selecting the correct shipping profile for that specific listing so that it's built out the way you want for free shipping in the US and then the for customers being charged for shipping everywhere else. But um yeah, I would double check that. If if you're talking about like the shipping profiles getting changed, um, I would recommend going and building out your own, creating a custom custom one from scratch. Um, you may not have as many issues there from editing one. Or you can just duplicate one of Printful's shipping profiles and then edit it 
edit it accordingly. But yeah, um, if that doesn't answer your question, POD Designs, let me know. Comment section down below. As well as I suggest reaching out to Etsy help, so Etsy support or to uh, Printful support. See if they can give you some more feedback. As well as in our Facebook group. Post it in our Facebook group and we can get some more uh, input on what's happening there. <clears throat> Okay. Is there an option for is there an option for the customers to include a note or card when Printful is used for fulfillment? Yes, there is. So um, you can do a custom message on Printful when you're um, manually fulfilling a order. Um, you'd have to. So if you have an automatic fulfillment and they've added a note like message to buyer, you'll see the message to buyer in your uh, notes when the customer places an order on Etsy. You'll have to go in and manually add this to Printful if you have it on automatic fulfillment. Um, so you just copy that message and then paste it in the custom message portion of the Printful order when you're placing that order uh, and you're able to send that note. It, it, it does have to be under a certain amount of characters. Um, I forget what it is, 300 or 500 characters. So you can't have a massive long note, um, but you can add personalized notes on um, your POD orders for Printful. But um, with that, it's going to be nothing special. It's just going to be a basic note on a little uh, slip of paper. So um, don't expect too much from, from it, but you can add custom notes. Is there an option for the customers to... Okay, hold on. I just did that one. Cape Town, South Africa. Cool, POD Designs, all the way from South Africa. Good to have you here. Since I got Place It, I've been doing two to three mock-ups per color or more if single color listings. Do you think we can use too many mock-ups? I don't think you can have too many mock-ups, but I do suggest having at least one color. Like in reality, all you really need is one color or one mock-up per color. So if you're selling five colors, have one color for, uh, or one mock-up for each uh, color that you're offering. So you can do some model mock-ups, some uh, flat lay mock-ups. I don't think you need to do overkill and have multiple color mock-up or multiple mock-ups for one specific color. That answers your question. Um, but I would for sure have at least one mock-up for each color. I've seen the best results and the best conversion with my listings when I've built my listing out that way. <clears throat> Any advice on what to include in videos? I started creating slideshows of the images I've uploaded to Etsy. How many images do you recommend, including any guidance to offer? Great question. Um, so videos, yeah, you, one option is the slideshows is a great idea because it's a simple way to do it and a really easy way to do it. You just build out pictures and then you just slideshow them. Super smart to do it that way. Um, another thing is to maybe order some of your inventory, some of your uh, best selling inventory that does really well, and then take a short video of that. Maybe a model wearing it, just zooming in on it or having them just walk towards the camera, away from camera, uh, spinning in camera. Um, other options is you can use platforms like Place It to create the videos for you. Um, they have video mockups that you can use, but a lot of them are pretty basic and simple. Um, you may have more success just doing your own videos. And you can really easily do this with just your iPhone or Android camera uh, or your phone. Um, you don't need to overdo it, overkill it. It's just so the customer can really see what that shirt looks like and how it fits. Um, other than that, though, I've seen the slideshow option. I've seen people take just one shirt or one mock-up and then they just uh, pan in on it, uh, zoom in on it, and they'll do it on um, on any like video editing um, platform. You can do that. But yeah, those are, those are the options I would give you, Lori. But I think your slideshow option is a great way uh, just to set yourself apart with some more videos. <clears throat> All right, here. Let me get another question here. Okay, here we go. I'm designing coffee mugs. Should I also design t-shirts and sell them on the same Etsy store? 100%. If you're only doing coffee mugs, I highly recommend doing clothing. Uh, t-shirts, sweatshirts, uh, crop tops. Clothing sells so well on Etsy and so does um, mugs, obviously. But I would just incorporate them into the same Etsy store if it's an like if it's a broad store it's just a general store there's no reason to not include it in the same store but if you have like a super niche uh super 
um, like niche specific shop, then you could consider opening another shop. But my recommendation is to have a general store and to include both mugs and your clothing in that same store. How many designs per niche do you recommend? As many as possible. The more designs you have, the more opportunities you have to be found. But what is the most important thing with this is making sure that they're high quality designs with proven SEO in order to really uh, do well. If you have a ton of listings, thousands and thousands of listings, but they're all mediocre designs, you didn't do your trend research, you didn't do your SEO key, uh, keyword research, um, chances are you won't do as well as if you had a hundred solid designs that were based off of trend research with good proven SEO with nice high quality mockups um, that would do much better than having a ton of listings. But uh, my recommendation is just do as many as you can for whatever specific niche it is and try to grow each niche um, listing, grow each niche's listing count the best that you can with high quality listings. Hey, thanks for everything, Brennan. I love being part of your group. Thank you, Mary, for being a part of it and for participating so much. You're always answering questions and helping out, and I appreciate it. And that's same goes to everyone who participates in the group. It's cool to see people take time out of their day to help someone else. And I think that's the most important thing is to help others and to be kind to others, to really help each other become who they want to become. So I appreciate everyone's help and support. Elizabeth will do. Thank you, Mary. Do you personally use SEO research tools? So Mary, I've gone back and forth on this. I think there's a lot of good that comes from uh, research tools, SEO tools like Allura or E-Rank or Marmalade. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, but for me personally, I go straight to the source. I go straight to Etsy because these third-party platforms, they're just pulling data from Etsy and assuming that this keyword's good. Um, it's not like 100% true data. I mean, they do have good ways to be able to collect this data to see what's doing well. Um, but I personally like to go straight to the source for um, doing my keyword research. But I have used them in the past. I've used E-Rank. I've used Allure. I've used Marmalade. Um, but it's up to you. You can do both. Experiment with both. See what you like better. But I wouldn't be sworn into, okay, I have to use this keyword research tool in order to have success on Etsy because I've had a lot of success not using those tools, just doing it straight from Etsy Marketplace, doing it the way that I've taught on my channel uh, with my SEO videos that I've that I've done. So um, I think there's good to them, but don't be uh, stuck on them only. I hope I hope that answers your question. It's your personal choice. I know there's probably people that have used them only and they've had a lot of success. So really just comes down to using proven keywords that people are searching for and thinking like a buyer. Thank you, Brennan. Love watching your videos here in Santa Barbara, California. Very cool, Cody. Thanks for tuning in and for being a part of this live stream and for participating in our community. I trend combine like Christmas and animal print, but I am not so sure as to my tags. So for your tags, Henrietta, I would just uh, think like a buyer. So if you're doing Christmas, you'd have Christmas keywords like cute Christmas sweatshirt for women. And then whatever animal you are, like do dog lover sweater or whatever animal it is, just combine your uh, keywords so that they're um, so that they're related to the product. Really, you don't need to overthink SEO. Just think like a buyer. Thanks for videos, Brennan. I opened the shop in 2020, but added no designs until 80 in the last three weeks. Few views, no sales, zero sales since 2020 might deter buyers. Should I open new shop? So start date is 2021. I don't think it's a critical thing. I, I don't think buyers really are looking at, okay, when did they open? Oh, they just opened. They're doing really well. I think it may help if they see that, but I don't think that's the number one thing they're looking for. The number one thing they're looking for is a design that they like and they love. Um, and then... Obviously, social proof is another thing they look at. So for feedback, good reviews, seeing if it's a, a design looks the same as it does on screen, as it does once they receive it, the shirt quality, et cetera. Um, so the biggest thing I suggest to you is get family members, friends outside of your home to purchase from your store and then to leave five-star reviews with pictures that will help really build the foundation for your shop. But I don't think you need to open a new shop. I would just uh, work on the shop that you currently have and to start to grow it. And go watch all my videos, Freestyle Odyssey. I have a lot of info on my channel that teaches you everything that you need to know. Yes, loving the challenge. Very cool, relaxed in nature. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, the challenge has really pushed me to go beyond my former limits. What would you think of us continuing on this challenge for another month? Definitely, Mary. I'm, I'm planning on doing another challenge in the near future. Um, I need to get down to it and just 
build it out so that's ready to go once this challenge ends because we're we're all at the end of it almost um but love the idea to continue with challenges yeah i've been using a lot of social media actually for my shop honestly pinterest has been a huge help with bringing in traffic and even tiktok has helped has been helping too i've been very consistent jay's foundation that's probably what's happening honestly you had a tiktok uh or some a pin on pinterest that did really well for you and it's bringing a lot of traffic so awesome job there keep up with it I forgot to ask a question, probably obvious, but I'm not sure on the stats. What's the difference between views and visits? Thanks again for the help. So views is anytime someone sees your listing in search results. So they're just scrolling through a general keyword. They, they scroll past your listing. They viewed it. A visit is when they click through to that listing directly to your shop. Brennan, do you sell totes? And if yes, do you get them from Printful? They are nice, but they're so much pricier than what people are charging on Etsy. So I used to sell totes when I started out, Mary, but I was using Printify to fulfill them because they were cheaper. Um, but that right now, currently, I'm not selling any totes. I'm just doing t-shirts and sweaters. Thanks for your help and advice, Brennan. This experience is getting fun. LOL. No worries, Jays. Thank you so much for uh, for doing it and taking action. Honestly, be proud of yourself for doing what you're doing because I, I just share the info. It's up to you to take it and to apply it and to implement. I'd love to continue the challenge for another month, especially since this is the fourth quarter. Awesome, Lori. We will plan to continue this challenge or build out a new challenge that will be applicable and maybe um, have a more difficult challenge for those that are really taking this serious and then have an easier challenge for those that are just getting started. But love the idea, a lot of good feedback, and I will definitely um, consider doing another one and I plan on doing another one. All right, my friends, if I didn't get to your question... Actually, I'll, I'll answer these last few questions. I'll end with Rhonda and then we'll be done. Um, but if I didn't answer your questions, make sure you ask them in the comment section down below this video or in the Facebook group, Print On Demand Warriors. And if you haven't, give this video a thumbs up yet if you're finding value in it and if it's helping you, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, Mary, okay, thank you You're the SEO in, for the SEO info. Very helpful. I'm still at the beginning and appreciate your input. No worries, Mary. Thank you so much for um, just going full force and taking initiative to learn everything that you can and to implement. You're doing an awesome job, and I really do admire how much you've helped in the Facebook group, so keep that up. I really appreciate it. Henrietta, cool. Thanks. Jay's Fan Nation, I use promo videos from Placeit for TikToks for anyone wondering how to use TikToks for your Etsy shop. Awesome tip. Jay's Phantom Nation. So if you want to go the, the social media route and post on social media on TikTok or Pinterest or Instagram, that's a great suggestion right there for specifically for TikTok. Thanks for sharing that. Okay, I'm going to end with this question. I'm doing t-shirts, bit nothing is uh bit nothing is selling. I'm thinking about selling macrame. Should I start a new shop for that? macrame so up to you if you want to start something new um yeah I, I it's it's it just depends on what you're selling what type of shirts you're selling um what you're gonna do but if it's a general store again you could consider adding adding it to your own um the other thing is to remember to not cut your like spread yourself too thin doing a lot of things um, you want to really hone in on one thing and get that going and rolling and um making sure it's just kind of just humming before you jump to the next thing um my suggestion though is um may, ch choose yourself <laughs> Rhonda. that doesn't help you but i i think you gotta just see if it would work in your store if it does then add it in the same store if you're like ah, i don't think it's gonna work well in the same store then then open a new shop so it's it's hard to say but if you're doing a general store consider adding it to your same shop i i hope that helped Rhonda. but again end of the day it's up to you what you want to do you're so generous with your time and ex expertise. Thank you so much, Brennan. I love your demeanor and focus. Cool, Lori. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your, your support and your, your time to just do a simple comment like that. Honestly, little things like that helps keep me motivated, helps me keep wanting to do the Facebook group, wants me to keep with the channel. Um, so I appreciate the feedback. It really means a lot. And it, 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 I just appreciate that you value my time for sharing this stuff and showing appreciation for it. So thank you so much. Bricks for breakfast. Thank you. Appreciate it. Mary K. Cool. You're the bomb brand. Thank you. I've never used that phrase before, but it applies. Cool. Awesome. You guys 
Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not in the Facebook group, I highly recommend getting in that Facebook group because there's so much valuable information in there that you can't necessarily find on Google. Um, then we have people in this ch live chat right now who are active in that Facebook group answering questions. And I'm in there answering questions the best that I can. I've been, I've, I haven't been as good as I've been at the beginning, but I'm trying to keep up with it. Um, and I share tips in there. Uh, right now we're doing a challenge and we're coming to the end of that challenge. And we plan to do another challenge in the near future, the very, very near future since we're in quarter four right now. Um, but there's just a lot of good stuff in there. And it's just a it just, just has a good feel to the to the group, to the community. We have good people in there who want to do good things and want to be helpful. So it's a great place to be. Um, if you haven't watched my videos yet, I recommend going and watching all my videos. If you've already watched them, go rewatch them because I share everything. I, and I'm not just saying this. I share everything that you need to know to get your shop up and running and to start making daily sales on Etsy. Um, I walk you through everything that I've done, everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm continuing to do to grow my shop and to have success and things that are working for me, I share with you so that it will help you. Um, I post new content once a week. So every Thursday or Friday and I go, so I post new content once a week and then the other week I go live is how I've had it set up. I've been wanting to do more, but I've been kind of slammed. So I haven't, haven't been able to put out more content, but I plan to in the future, but thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great weekend. Remember to be a good human, to be nice, to be kind to others, to be grateful for all that you have because we're pretty blessed people, but thank you guys. Have a great day.